Alright guys, I wanted to show you something pretty cool. So we have uh, all these thousands of tree prefabs for this uh, test scene here. And uh, if we go ahead and run the game, um, you can see it's it's pretty optimized. Like we got 92 batches and uh, saved by batching like 17,000. So um, each uh, prefab of the tree is instant so we get pretty good performance you see we're getting a hundred uh, and seventy eighty frames a second um, but I wanted to see if I can optimize it even more especially since we're gonna be uh, trying to get this on the oculus quest uh, glider sim and there's tens of thousands of trees and uh, it's just not gonna work on the quest with that many draw calls so I went ahead and I extracted all the trees from the uh, from the terrain using a, a little script I wrote. And here you can see all the extracted trees and their uh, colliders. And if we play this, we get about the same performance. A uh, good uh, 88 draw calls, a little less. Still a ton saved by batching. And you get in like 200 frames a second. And then what I did was I took all these trees and then combined them into one single mesh using Mesh Baker. Now check this out. This is the combined mesh. And uh, let's see. Just so you could see, it, we're at nine draw calls right now. So the single mesh with all those trees is only a couple more draw calls it, and it's more draw calls because we got the shadows enabled in reality it's just one draw call if we turn the shadows off you could see it's just one draw call eh, for all these trees and you see we're at like 13,000 frames per second now um, zero saved by bashing but heck the trees are one batch eh, all these trees uh, one single batch so that should give us pretty good performance for uh, the oculus quest for glider sim um, and we'll be trying to get that work on the main scene here outside of the test scene